In this video, we'll quickly look at uh, how to use variables and variable groups in the pipeline to avoid uh, uh, rework or uh, manage the variables, uh, variable values in a pipeline. So here I have a pipeline which is built for ASP.NET uh, application. And if I go to the task, you can notice here I have a build configuration and a build platform. And the values there is a release and any CPU. Here what I have basically done is I have hard coded the values of build configuration and build platform to release and any debug always. So whether you are building a main branch, a developer branch or a local one of your local feature branch, it will always be built on release. So uh, this is you know this is one scenario where when you are building a feature branch you may want to have a debug version of your code so that you get more uh, information about uh, logs and debug. So how do you to make this uh, hard coding uh, uh, remote we use variables. So example I can define under variables I can define a variable uh, let's say build uh, configuration and then have a default value as release and similarly I can have a uh, build uh, build a mode example and I can have uh, let's say any CPU. So define two new variables and call it as build configuration and build mode. Now if I go back to the task instead of hard coding the value to release I can say dollar and then provide the variable name which I had created. So example it can be build configuration. and I have build mode. So once I enable this as a variable, I will be able to pass these parameters dynamically whether I am invoking through a schedule or invoking from either pipeline or a script or in a replace, I have the flexibility to decide whether to run pass the value which I want uh, the pipeline to be executed with. Uh, right? So, so this gives you the freedom to change the values uh, runtime. Uh, at the time of build execution uh, or trigger so that you know you will be able to manage it uh, better and similarly now this is for a variable group now imagine uh, now in a scenario where you have multiple projects and you want all the projects to run um, in, in the release mode or in any CPU mode and you don't want to manage this at an individual pipeline level. So variables uh, variables which I have defined here is at this pipeline level. So uh, if I create one more pipeline, the particular pipeline we may may not will not have this same parameters. Yes, I may I may I can go ahead and create a new variables again. So if I have say 10, 20, 50 projects, all of them on .NET and and have these variables, I can have all the pipelines have their own two variables uh, called release and any CPU. But uh, there's a better way to do that if you have a, some set of variables which are common across the pipelines. Uh, uh, in such scenario, we, we can use something called variable groups. A variable group is just like your variables in a pipeline, but you know, co common, let me give you a common build variables. So, it, but it can be something that can be reused across the pipelines. So I created something called a common build variables, which is what we had uh, created, right? And here I create two variables, build configuration, with a value as release, and I have build mode as any CPU. So now I've created a build group variable group with two with the same variables. So now I can go back to my pipeline, edit. And instead of I can instead of using the pipeline level variables, what I have done here, uh, let me you know let me delete these two. And uh, I can go to variable groups and link the variable group which I had created here into the pipeline. So what I'm basically doing is I'm managing the variables in a, in a common variable group and linking that particular group into the pipeline. So automatically at the time of execution, all the variables declared uh, in the variable group 
will be imported into the pipeline and, and made accessible for the pipeline to read or um, update the values. So this, uh, if I have now, if I have 50 projects, I can, all the pipelines will be linked to this variable group and any changes I do into the variable group, common bill variables will be applied or reflected across all the pipelines with, uh, without having to edit the individual pipelines. Thank you.